What is up you guys? It's Ashling and welcome to my channel. I am testing out a new concealer today. This is the new Conceal and Fine from Makeup Revolution. I absolutely adore Makeup Revolution and I thought I would test this out today in a video. Before we get into the video, if you guys are brand new here or you just haven't, Hit the subscribe button down below for whatever reason. I would love you guys to do that. If you love drugstore makeup, affordable makeup, and just seeing videos on affordable makeup, then definitely give this video a thumbs up because I will know to do more of them. So without further ado, I want to talk a little bit about these concealers. So this is called the Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. There's a long blonde hair in it mine don't worry. The new Conceal and Define Infinite is described as the long wear concealer. It's crease proof with niacinamide infinite coverage. A 16 wear. 16 hour wear rather. <laughs> if you're new around here you may not know but I already have videos testing out both the Conceal and Define concealer and the Conceal and Hydrate concealer and putting these two guys to the test as well on my channel. I get C7 in all of the concealers and when I'm using a contour shade, I always use C14. So that's exactly what I picked up in these shades today. Okay, so the Infinite Concealer, I'm just gonna pop it along my jawline here, or not jawline, my, my cheekbones. I don't wanna go too ham because I don't want it like crazy. I'm gonna apply it I think that's kind of even. <laughs> Probably not. I'm gonna apply it around my temple and get that hair out of the way. I'm just around the top of my forehead. Just I'm using whatever's left kind of on the, the doe foot. I'm gonna just do a little bit around the lower lip and maybe a bit on the tip of my nose. And I think I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see me applying this concealer, the under eye concealer, because I think that might give you a better indication of how it's working. I don't like leaving concealers too long on my eyes, or on my face rather, because then they kind of dry in, they're harder to move around. Not all the time, but some cases. So I'm just gonna apply this, ooh. Okay, so that shade's perfect for me. That's the shade that I use in all the other concealers and it looks great. Obviously I'm gonna use a bit more of this than I would with my other, the contour shade. And apply that just here and in between my brows and just on my chin and over the top of my lip. I think that's pretty much it. So you get a good spread of concealer from one application. I'm gonna take this brush here, it's a duo fiber brush and it's from Sigma, it's the F18. It's the brush that I use to cream contour with all the time. So I'm just gonna use that to initially blend out my cream contour. Yeah, see this is why I hate leaving product to sit on my skin for too long. I should have just applied this and then moved moved it on. But don't worry guys, we'll fix it, we'll get her moving and grooving. I don't apply it too close to like my brows because I obviously bring it down and I kind of locate it or bring it back into my hairline and if I bring it down too close towards my eyebrows or down forward on my forehead rather, it will just not blend and just turn into a muddy mess. I think I'm gonna need my beauty sponge to blend that out. I know I left it sitting on my skin too long, but it's still, it's blending. So we'll just do here. So, it blends super quick and easy. I'm just gonna blend everything on the nose with the beauty blender. I'm not even gonna bother with the brush. And that actually blended out really easily on the skin. Even though I let it dry, move quickly with it. Don't let it dry like I did, that's silly. I'm just gonna blend out the lighter concealer now. In between my brows before I move on to under the eye. Okay, so what I'm noticing about this in comparison to the other concealer the Conceal and Define, the original. It's a little bit thicker and it's more of a creamy, like what you would expect from more of like a stick versus a liquid, if that makes sense. And it's super full coverage. Like, hello, I have nothing going on underneath my eyes. That is crazy. I must say that I like that a lot. So I'm just gonna blend it all out. Like it's like a veil underneath my eye. 
it's super full coverage and it's like airbrushed underneath my eye. It's like there was nothing, like I said, nothing going on. I am noticing just a teeny bit of creasing already. We haven't really worn it that long, but it's just creasing slightly. Hopefully that doesn't get worse during the day and it just stays as is. So I'm just gonna make sure that I have everything else blended around my face. The coverage off that is incredible. Like really, really incredible. Zoom in closer so you can see underneath the eye. Like it is creasing just a teeny bit there. You can see we're just having like little lines under my eyes. But nothing crazy. They're just like my natural little wrinkles under my eyes. Um, It's not sinking into them just yet. But I feel like if I don't set that, <laughs> it is. Can you just see how opaque that is? Like, it's just covered everything underneath my eye. I'm just going to take my Revolution baking powder in lace. And I'm just going to pop a bit of that underneath the eye. Just to set it. I don't want anything too crazy. I'm not even going to bake. I'm just literally going to set straight off the bat. I'm only using this because I know it works with everything and it always makes my under eye areas look great and nothing really creases with this powder. So if this concealer creases with this powder, then it's just going to crease with everything. And my under eye area looks as smooth as a baby's butt. I love it. So I just applied my pressed powder and some blusher and obviously I did my lips. I am just gonna talk a little bit about these concealers just briefly. I wanna check back in with you guys later on in the day because I feel like it's kind of important to see how they're actually wearing on my skin later on in the day. But I do really, really like the concealers. I love how like easily they blend it out even though I left them to dry for a bit too long. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Blend them out as soon as you kind of can. Don't leave them sitting on your skin. But I still found that they blended really, really well. Like it wasn't like one of those products where you're like, oh my God, move quickly with it. You have to blend it or else it's just not gonna budge. They did. And I really, really, really like the look of this. I might, might be premature in saying this, but I think I prefer this to the Conceal and Define concealer just from the effect of it underneath my eye I'm just I can't really see the mirrors very far away and I am blind but just from what I can see it does look really 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 pretty I need to look a bit more up close oh my god yeah my under eye areas looks they look outstanding I am obsessed with the way that they look like I rarely say that about a concealer because hello it's just a concealer but I really feel like this has covered up all my dark circles it's made my under eye area look so smooth I can't describe it but it's like a veil underneath my eye and that's the way I feel like this concealer sat the contour is gorgeous as well I know it's still a concealer but I feel like it went on really really well and blended out easily and it's just kind of warmed up my face and just given me like a natural bronze and contour. The shade that I use, the C14, is a little bit of a cooler undertone to it obviously and that's what I go for. I don't want like too warm of a cream contour even though I love the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel which is kind of warm but I just like the effect that this gave me. It's really really great. So work a little bit faster than I did with it by blending it even if you don't, it still blends out really well and products sit on top of it super nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear this throughout the day and check back in with you later just so you can kind of see how it is looking on my skin. I'm going to zoom in for you guys just briefly just so you can see what it looks like with powders underneath it even though you saw it set. So you can just see it there underneath my eye. It's not creased or anything. I still have like little lines underneath my eyes. They're always going to be there but it's not sinking into them. It's not separating anywhere underneath my eye. I think it looks really, really good to be fair. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the look of this, especially like up close and personal because that's kind of when you can tell if something is flawed. You can see it because we're so close. I'll go about my day and I'll check in with you later. It's just after midday right now, so we'll see how we get on. Hopefully no creasing because right now the way it looks, I'm obsessed, low-key obsessed. So I'm back and it is 5.55. So it's about six, seven hours that I've been wearing this concealer. So I kind of have a good judge and kind of gauge on what way and what I'm feeling about it. I feel like I have Oreos. I'm making an Oreo cheesecake and I was like obviously eating Oreos while I was doing it. So I feel like there's like Oreos in my teeth. So apologies if there is. I'm so happy with the look of this concealer. I was fearful just a little bit, like a teeny bit that because it was so full coverage that it was gonna crease on me. But no guys, it looks 
superb. It is still intact. Actually, I think this is the best that my skin has looked, like makeup day, skin day, in a long time. I really, really like the way that this looks on my skin and under my eyes. I know it's super full coverage, but I mean, that's what you're looking for. You're not buying these for like, oh, I want low coverage kind of something subtle. You're buying them for like a full coverage effect. I feel like there is not a bit of a dark circle underneath my eyes and I'm just really loving it and I love the fact it has increased. So up close you can see what the concealer is looking like. I am so happy with it. You see like a bit of my foundation's rubbed off from my glasses. <gasps> Ugh. I have to put like a primer on underneath it in order for it to not rub off. It does it every time I don't do that. So the concealer is looking like I love it and the contour is still intact of course. Nothing has like faded. I absolutely love this. I actually think that that's my favorite concealer from Makeup Revolution. This is 1 million percent replaced my Conceal and Define. Conceal and Define Infinite, you are the bomb.com. Anyway, I thought that check-in might be interesting for you guys just to see how the concealer looks. Not a bit of a crease, not a bit of fading. Everything's still intact, looking well. I am super impressed with it and I... <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna run through this pretty quickly because like I said, there's only five milliliters in it and it's possibly the nicest concealer I think I've ever used for full coverage without looking like cakey and heavy or anything because it's still so lightweight underneath my eyes but just my under eye area looks flawless. Like I cannot stress that enough. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Even if I do say so myself. That is all from the Conceal and Define Infinite. I love it. It gets too big, a massive thumbs up from me. It can't thumbs up my other hand because I'm holding stuff. But I really love this. Highly rated. Recommend it to all you guys out there. For the price, it was like 5 99 maybe 6 euro each, which is just ridiculous for such a good concealer. So full coverage. Go on to my everyday makeup bag right now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. If you liked this type of video, don't forget to thumbs it up and if you are not already subscribe and I will talk to you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.